I think we spoke last probably at um, Harrogate, I would imagine, back back yeah. in January. How's life been? How's the company been proceeding over the last, what, 11 months or so? Yeah, no, really good, actually. I mean, we'll have another record year this year. We continue to grow. Um, we are now double what we were when we started in 2018. Is that in line with expectations or targets Almost at that point? exactly, actually. You know, it's pretty much what we said when we started. We thought we could double it in five years. I think it's taken six actually to do that but with covid in the middle maybe that's I'm not going to say bad. where would you have been without that yeah exactly we, we'd probably been a little bit further ahead so no it's been really good and we're just lucky you know we, we, we've got a great team of people the product's bulletproof uh we've been growing our dealerships and we've got more dealers out there so there's more people out there waking up every morning thinking i must go and sell blue tractors i must go and sell blue mowers and that's what we want you know and we, we we've just found if you get the machines in front of people they want to buy them and once they bought one, they'll buy another one. And so, uh, yeah, we're just very fortunate, really. Now, you met the last five-year target, you are just telling me just now. What's the next five-year target? Is it double again? Because obviously that's going to be more difficult because of the size of the company. But is that where you're looking? Retirement, Scott. <laughs> you, and I, you and I both. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think there's an opportunity to continue to grow. As you know, as, as companies grow, you're never going to grow at the same percentage rate uh, because it's just so much extra volume. But uh, there's no reason why we can't continue to grow our market share, continue to look after our customers, and make sure that we're a, you know a force for good within the industry.